what we're looking at here is my three month restock. It's my largest three month restock I've ever done. And that is because it includes not only our grocery items, but our general household care items, our personal care items, and back to school items. So let's get into it. So I shopped at three stores today and um, actually tried to do a Walmart pickup order. And because my order was so large, it would not go through. And I ended up having to go to the store in order to fill it. And I was grateful because I injured my foot last week and I'm not walking very well. And my mom and our good friend Carla came in and helped me um, get this order together and then helped me set it up. And I'm so grateful for both of them because we really needed groceries and needed to get this done. We're in the middle of harvest season and this was really the only time I had to do it. I'm very grateful that they were able to help. So I shopped at three stores, uh, Harvest Foods, Safeway, and Walmart. These are really good. Um, they're allergen safe. So they come from Harvest They're Food. just good uh, muffins for quick grab for breakfast. I did notice there was not a lot of good sales this time around. Like everything was at a premium pretty much. And that's probably because of the back to school rush and things like that. Anyways, for dairy products, I got two of these uh, light and fit Greek yogurts. These are really good. I really like the lemon meringue flavor, but it's really hard to find. So I'm really, really happy when I can find it. I got um, Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt, uh, ricotta cheese for some lasagna, some half and half so I can have peaches and cream, Parmesan cheese. We got some of the Daisy sour cream. I like these little containers. They work really well. And they last forever. We got um, several of these sliced medium cheddar cheeses as well as the sliced baby Swiss. We got the low uh, moisture part skim mozzarella um, string cheeses as well as the Mexican blend um, shredded cheese and the mozzarella shredded cheese. I picked up a tub of imperial butter that's perfect for just for toast or something quick as well as the boxes of them for you know general baking things um, I also picked up uh, plain cream cheese and two unsalted butters and one salted and a thing of strawberry cream cheese and there's a gallon of milk back there somewhere, but I can't really get to it right now. I picked up this um, large 16 count flour tortilla, which I'll use to make breakfast burritos and regular burritos. And I decided to get me um, a package of this, um, I call it cheap pie crust, because I wanna make a peach pie and with my um, injured foot, I don't really want to have to roll out pie dough right now. As far as meats, we got um, one of these deli chicken breast um, lunch meats and then two of these ham and turkey sub kits. I'll put one of them in the freezer to hold until the first one's gone. So that'll last quite a while. We got two of the, or one of the Italian dry salami, the gallo salamis as well as one of the pepperonis. We got two of the Cajun style andouille sausages and two of the beef kielbasas. My husband cooks these in like breakfast burritos and different things that he makes on the fly. And then these, we end up usually putting them in pasta. Uh, we got one of the beer brats, um, bratwurst a thing of this um, thick cut bacon, some sausage patties, and two things of sausage links, 
uh, eight pound bag of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Luckily, the price on these is finally starting to come down. Uh, two of these seasoned Philly sirloin steaks. Uh, they're little, there's four of them in here and it's just shredded meat and they cook up really well into pretty much anything you can think to put beef in. I got um, a box of my turkey burgers. I really like those. I usually eat those in lieu of hamburgers. I did get hamburger, however, um, it wasn't a great deal, so I only picked up one package, and I'll separate that into three packages that we'll use as we need. The other meats that I picked up today, there wasn't any sales on like steaks or anything like that, and so I was really hesitant to buy them at, you know, current prices. They're kind of outlandish, so I picked up everything I could and I figured I would just wait until the next steak sale and pick stuff up like that at that time. I got a bag of the Italian style meatballs that we use to make meatball subs. Got my son some pizza rolls. Got some ground turkey burger and some regular Jimmy Bean sausage. A thing of beef burgers. I've got Two of these family size um, tilapia fillets. We love these for fish tacos. They make excellent fish tacos. Tilapia is like a nice um, mild white fish and you can pretty much flavor it with anything and it tastes good. Uh, I got some of these Vermont maple brown and serve um, sausage wings. I got uh, the pa pancakes and sausage blueberry. These are really good if you dip them in syrup. I like them. Uh, I got a package of this, um, it's chicken thighs and drumsticks, which will barbecue. And the price was decent, it was 604, that's not bad. And then the best sale we got on meat was um, pork chops were, I think, what was it? $1.49 a pound, so that wasn't too bad. I got the big pack of Kraft Mac and Cheese, and for pasta we have two bow tie, two pen, four garden rotini, one elbow, one angel hair, and four pounds and of spaghetti. I got some more of these crispy um, taco shells. The guys usually eat these, as well as a twin pack of the chicken flavor stovetop stuffing. We usually have these with steak or something just to have something quick. Uh, a refill of mustard, ranch, two of Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I wanted to try this um, Kikoman sweet and sour sauce. I've never tried this one before. So we're gonna try that. I got the wrong Catalina. Normally I get the light. This is tangy bacon. I'll try it, see if I like it. I got a large thing of uh, canola oil and another bottle of the Bertoli extra virgin olive oil and a bottle of um, apple cider vinegar because I'm almost out as well as a bottle of Hershey syrup, a thing of mayo, two of um, bread and butter pickles, a thing of chunky medium paste salsa just to last until I get my salsa canned, um, one vodka sauce, four of the traditional spaghetti sauce, two Alfredo sauces, a thing of minced garlic, another thing of the marinated artichoke hearts. I forgot balsamic vinegar because I want to make a uh, angel hair pasta salad with zucchini and um, tomatoes and cucumber and artichoke hearts. And it just has a really light, and I also put chicken in it sometimes. 
but it has a light balsamic vinegar type of dressing and it's fantastic. And then I also picked up several cans of stewed tomatoes, um, a half dozen cans of tomato sauce, a couple cans of cream of mushroom soup, um, a couple of these chunky um, Campbell's soups. I think one was like chicken pot pie, one's chicken noodle. So my husband can take them to work as it starts to get colder. Um, I got a large manwich, some Nally chili that we just mix into Chili Mac, uh, several cans of meatball spaghettios, and I also have three cans of sweetened condensed milk. I am going to use these to make granola bars, and then I picked up some evaporated milk in case I needed to do some baking. And then I got two um, frostings. I could make them homemade, but sometimes I just like the quick fix. So I picked up one of the Hershey's chocolate and one um, cream cheese, which I got to go with this carrot cake. And then I picked up some vanilla candy coating that I'm going to use in the granola bars I'm making with some fruit that we've dried here. And then I also picked up a variety pack of ice creams for the guys and a Ben and Jerry's for me. So I can have a treat for all this work. Uh, I picked up two of my cauliflower crust chicken sausage pizzas, which I really love. And then three of the Tony Supremes pizzas. I picked up some frozen veggies, some Brussels sprouts, some frozen sweet potato fries, cauliflower, sweet peas, broccoli. Um, I have some carrots around here somewhere, I think. And then I picked up some mushrooms, a little thing of pineapple for me to munch on. Uh, some cilantro for the salsa I'm making um, and then a couple things of grapes because they were on sale and then as far as the produce I also have a large bag of onions some Brussels sprouts um, some of the mini oranges that the boys like this you know spring mix salad mix for our salads and some bananas as well as a watermelon. And then I picked up uh, two 18 packs of eggs, some semi-sweet chocolate chips for baking cookies. My best deal that I got on the shopping trip was this Tully's Espresso Roast, which I really like. It's like $12 per bag, but I got it on sale for two, or buy two bags, get three free. So I got five bags of espresso for the price of two. And that's a good deal to me. Uh, as well as a caramel uh, Tarani syrup flavor for my iced coffee. And I picked up uh, two of these freeze-dried um, fruits, one mango, one pineapple. My favorite is the pineapple, but the mango is really good too. My husband really likes the cilantro lime, um, tortilla chips and then I picked up one of yellow corn and one of white corn and then I got my husband this dark chocolate hazelnut granola and as well as this caramel mountain trail mix uh, he really likes that one I picked up some honey made grams to go with the Hershey's milk chocolate bars and the marshmallows we already have I picked up some long grain rice as well. I picked up five pounds because I'm almost completely out. And uh, we cook rice quite often, so we needed to refill that. I also picked up a 42 bag count of chips and my husband takes them to work and my son, and my son redacted. He told me I have to say redacted anytime that he is mentioned in a video, so I had to do it at least once. But it makes me laugh every time I think about it. I picked up uh, some original Franz bagels, some nine grain bread, and some regular, 
I don't know how I ended up with the honey wheat. That one must have been my mom's. That one's not mine. I'll have to put it away for her so that she can get it back when she comes in again. And then I picked up some regular white bread. I got some Ritz crackers, a full case of Pop-Tarts that has uh, strawberry, cherry, and blueberry. I picked up some rice squares for my husband. He likes those. I got some fruit and yogurt awake. My son likes that, and so does my husband. I got my son a bag of honeycombs. He's been requesting that of me for a while, so I had to get it for him. And then we got some cocoa dino bites. And then I also, I picked up a couple more things for Canon because I've been, you know, going through it. These lids for the wide mouth jars and I got another one for the regular mouth jars. Just makes it easier to deal with than the lid and the ring once you open them. And then I picked up this, um, a case of half pint jars because I wanted some more of those for doing jam. And then I also picked up, uh, six of these half gallon jars because I plan on trying to make some, um, wine. Then I also, I needed a ice cream scoop, but it was 50 cents. I couldn't help myself. I had to buy it. Um, I picked up some more kitchen towels because mine have a habit of disappearing. It's a 16 pack of Energizer batteries, double A's, and it was on sale for $16 at Safeway, which is decent. So I grabbed that and I needed um, new bulbs for my wax burner. So I picked that up as well. I picked up a large Angel Soft toilet paper got these um, gallon freezer bags and the quart bags as well as 200 sandwich bags. Um, my husband will use these for his sandwiches and his snacks. My husband needed some more of this Dove Men's Care um, bar soap. He likes bar soap. We needed more fish oil and we buy them in large quantity because both my husband and I both use these. Just helps with cholesterol. Uh, pick my husband up some more omeprazole because when he eats all this food he's gonna need it um, I got a some ibuprofen and you know general pain reliever acetaminophen we go through it around here work hard and end up sore and then um, I got um, a package of paper towels one of, I've never tried this specific type of Tide Pods. These are the Free Breeze Odor. It's supposed to be for sports and stuff. And I figured with my son, Redacted, going back to school, he would need to, you know, he'd get sweaty and this would help. And then also um, Arm & Hammer OxyClean laundry soap, which I like. I got a bottle of refill size of Dawn Platinum. And then these Downy Unstoppables. I really like these. I think they really help with the laundry. My husband has um, really greasy, dirty, sawdust filled work clothes. And so when he needs his laundry washed, you know, everything helps because that grease smell stays in your clothes no matter what you do unless you wash them with, you know, I've found that if I don't wash them with something like this, they just don't ever stop smelling like grease. And then I also, it was a, if you buy two, you get them for this price sale. So I got one of this scent. I've never tried this one before, so I'm looking forward to that. I picked up a large package of paper plates because I hate dishes and my dishwasher won't wash. So, you know, it is what it is. A nine pack of, you know, Scotch-Brite sponges, a big package of garbage bags. I like these Glad Force Flex ones. They don't rip. 
I picked up an extra plunger because we have two bathrooms and sharing a plunger is not the most fun. So this will help with that. We needed more air freshener. So now we have that and put one in each bathroom. I like this ocean smell one. They smell pretty good. Uh, this shout um, grease buster is the only thing that takes all the grease out of my husband's work clothes and that's a feat it really really is i picked up a refill for my antibacterial soap you know some toilet cleaner a refill for shout for you know when we're doing general laundry another bleach i got a scrubby thing because um my dogs have had a couple accidents on the carpet over the summer and I want to see if I can get them out. And now I have all these new cups that have the little straw cleaner or the straws with them but I don't have anything to clean them and I don't want to be drinking out of them without cleaning them. So I picked up one of these sets that will allow me to clean the straws. For my son's stuff, for going back to school, um, he's 17, so he has grown man size need, needs. You know, he's six foot four. You know, he's man sized, but he's still only 17, so he's a kid. I had picked him up disposable razors here a while ago, and you know, I didn't know if he would actually use them. But I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on them, not knowing, but he went through them and then needed more. And so this time I bought him a grown-up razor. Anyways, these hairy razors are really good. My husband uses them. He loves them. Uh, some Edge um, Sensitive Skin Shaving Cream. Uh, two of these black and white um, deodorants some wet ones wipes for his backpack i head and shoulders he gets dandruff if he doesn't use it so this is what i get for him the shampoo plus conditioner and then some axe body wash i got him some mechanical pencils um highlighters i got some gel pens for me i'll probably give him a couple and then some regular pens for him and then I got him a couple of erasers he got five of these notebooks and then a folder and then this um, binder it has a large binder ring on it but it also has a tablet and small laptop case attached to it since his school gives him a computer every year at the beginning of the year and he just keeps it with him until classes are over, this uh, seemed perfect. And you know, he's starting his junior year so I wanna make sure that he's staying on point. That is it guys, that is my haul. I didn't get everything, but I got most things and It was quite the adventure actually getting those things all at once because as you can see, this doesn't fit in a general cart. We were literally a train in Walmart trying to get this stuff done, but we did get it and we're very happy that we did. Now I can get back to canning peaches. Um, okay, so I'm going to get the totals for you. Um, actually, I know the totals off the top of my head. So um, the totals for Safeway was $251. The total at Walmart was two uh, receipts, one for $755 and one for $134. 
And then at Harvest Foods, I spent another $120.40. So that is my total. Um, I hope you enjoyed and the keep video. keep an eye out for the Amazon shopping haul, which will be coming up, which is actually all the back to school and the winter work gear up coming up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I forgot to say that I also got a 45 pound bag of dog food today. So I didn't forget the little ones.